Hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking about the sandbox. This is a cool Roblox meets Minecraft plus blockchain development platform that is community driven and allows you to monetize your creations on the blockchain. We're going to talk about why huge game development companies like Atari and Square Enix are investing in this game and why you might want to consider looking at getting in on their land sale or becoming a creator. But before we get started, if you're not already part of the Stash Club, you don't need a mustache to join, but you do need to love learning with our community. And you can sign up on my website here on YouTube, subscribe, or you can join it in our Telegram channel. All right, so let's take a look at some of these large partnerships that they've announced here recently that uh, have really made a big difference in my opinion and other people's opinion of where this project is going. So uh, recently they announced that they're partnering with Atari, which of course is a huge, huge brand. I love playing Atari when I, was, when I was a kid. And Atari is is partnering with the Sandbox and they're gonna be bringing some of their classic games inside of the Sandbox and making them into sweet voxel versions, right? So we see that uh, they'll be making fan favorite titles like Pong, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Centipede, Super Breakout, Asteroids, and so many more. They're coming to the Sandbox. Atari sees there's something in this game, something in what they're doing and some of the elements. We're going to talk about what those might be. And then next, uh, they've also raised an additional $2 million outside of their sales from in, uh, investors like Square Enix, B Cryptos, and True Global Ventures. Square Enix is a major game development company, international, and they don't put their money behind something just for no reason. So what is this game all about? Why are these big companies putting their money into it? Let's take a look about what Sandbox is in general. So it's a community driven platform where creators can monetize voxel based assets and gaming experiences on the blockchain. So they have a bunch of ways of doing this. And so when you look at the, the basic elements of what the game is all about, uh, they have uh, you know a couple of different elements and one of them is their sand token. So it's an ERC 20 token that you use as a utility token for a bunch of different things like in-game purchases, for uh, you know asset uploads, things like that. Then they have the land token, which is an ERC721 NFT, non-fungible token. And each piece of land is unique. So you can go and buy a piece of land and own a piece of land inside of the sandbox. And that's something that you don't see in things like Roblox or Minecraft. You actually own that piece of land and you can trade it and you can uh, charge rent on it. You can build games that you monetize on top of it. Then they also have assets, which are ERC1155. They're the models that people are building in their Vox Edit software for people to use inside their games. So you could monetize by just creating assets like an axe or a car. Then you have a couple of things like gems, which allow you to pump up your assets to make them more rare. And then you can even package whole games into an ERC1155 token and sell that on the marketplace. So there's so many ways to monetize. And I think that's one of the first reasons why we see these large investors getting involved. They see how easy Sandbox is making it for people to monetize and people to create within their platform. So just to give you a little idea of what the platform itself looks like, uh, here's a video about uh, you know the sandbox and this is their uh, voxel editing software so you can see you can create using voxels you can animate those voxels and make these really sweet uh, uh, assets that you can then sell in the marketplace or use in your game like this and like this and you know obviously it's a multiplayer game so you can play all these games with friends and the people who create the games can set those those assets and you can even earn sand their in-game currency for doing things in the game Using these assets is super easy too, and there is a marketplace, so if you don't create your own assets but want to create your own game, you can do that as well. There's so many options to how you can get involved in this game, and I think that's one of the reasons that makes it really appealing to these large game development companies. And look how amazing that is. Explore new lands. <laughs> I mean, it, like I said, it has this Minecraft feel, but with Roblox elements of being able to create your own, you know, games that you can then monetize and people play them. Look at that little gun. Pew, pew, pew. Pick it up. Oh no, I'm snake. So that, 
that's a little bit about what sandbox looks like how you a little bit of a feel for what the games are going to be and how you do some voxel edits and stuff like that so i think that's that's what that's the first reason why big game developers are getting in on this in the ground floor the second i'm going to talk about the, their parent company so uh, animoca is the current brand that, that acquired the sandbox game originally and so the sandbox is actually a pre-existing game that's called the sandbox evolution and this was a game that was put out by Pixel that was then, uh, you know, and, and it's essentially a mobile game and uh, for iOS and Android. It's a 2D uh, pixel based world creation game. Right. And so it's one of the, the biggest uh, uh, asset or, or owner created asset games uh, that is out there. Right. That is in the, the marketplace and players have created over 100,000 new worlds and 25,000 new elements every day. A quarter of all players have created more than five worlds. So people are creating, people are getting in there, they're making uh, different worlds, and now they're bringing this same kind of feel to a 3D voxel version of this game. It's a free, you know, the, the current game is is a mobile game and it's free to play. And right now, though, even though my uh, even though the sandbox didn't get as much popularity uh, as maybe Minecraft or Roblox has, they still have 40 million downloads of this 2D pixel game and over a monthly active players right now on this game. So right there, that's the second major reason why game developers, I think, are getting involved in this game in the ground floor, because they see it already has a huge audience. And this huge audience could easily come over to the 3D version because it gives them so much more, it unlocks so much more potential for creating worlds and then also monetizing your creations. So, you know, if even we get 1% of 1 million players over the, you know, into the, the sandbox game, that's a significant boost. And these are these are gamers coming out from outside of the blockchain world. Now, whereas, you know, the Sandbox 3D version and Voxel version is a blockchain based game, you do, you do have to have some knowledge of blockchain to be able to use it. They've taken steps to reduce all of those hurdles. So it's incredibly easy to participate. All you need right now to get started on the land sale, which is coming up their third land sale is a MetaMask wallet. And MetaMask is just a very simple Chrome extension you can download and get started with for free. And so you do need to have some Ethereum to be able to purchase that land. But like I said, they've made it incredibly easy to be able to do so. And they give you step-by-step -step instructions. So, you know, I think this is the second reason why we see big game devs getting involved in the sandbox early here on. You have places like Atari and, you know, Square Enix and Wax and a bunch of other game developers that want to get involved in this right here from the get-go. So, uh, you know, we talked about uh, some of the, the elements that they, they have. And, uh, you know, one of the next things that we want to talk about is the fact that they are hosting their, their next land rush and their pre-sale round three. This is round three already, guys. They've already sold out the first two rounds. So round three is coming on March 31st. And you, you're going to be able to pre-register right now. But as soon as March 20, uh, thir 31st hits, then all the lands are going to become available. And you can see here's the map for the, the third round. And already all these games I've talked about and, and developers already have staked out plots. So you can see Atari has a bunch of plots that they've already staked out. MetaMask, uh, you know, they have all their different games. OpenSea, here's Wax. There's a bunch of different games that are already wanting to stake out their land so they can build games inside of the sandbox. So all these, uh, each, each little square of land, you can see each one of these little squares of land, that's the base uh, amount of land that you would get and they've actually capped the price of these lands at $38.40. So each little square is gonna cost you $38.40, but you can buy multiple squares or larger plots and you can combine them to make larger estates. So that's why you see some of these have large estates like this. Roller Coaster Tycoon has a massive one. MetaMask has a really big one. And, and so these, the, all these little, these little pieces of land can be locked together to make a bigger piece of land to make a bigger game, right? So if you guys want to jump in on a land sale, it's definitely going to go quick. The first two rounds went very quick and were sold out within days. So if you want to get in, 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 uh, into the land sale and you want to get a part of this, this third round of the sandbox and be on the ground floor of what's going on here, I suggest you definitely look into doing it soon. Don't sleep on this. And if you want to su support the channel, you can use my link below here in the description. I definitely appreciate that. So, you know, I, I think because of the way that, that uh, they've structured their land sale here and the fact that, you know, you can get value just by buying this land is another uh, good sale, uh, reason why investors want to get involved in this because they see that, that everybody can monetize and people can do it in multiple different ways, not just by creating games, but by speculating on land, on, on trading in marketplaces. And that's also, I think, a, a big deal as well. 
So now we look at like the fourth reason why I think that this is actually a really big opportunity and why big uh, game dev devs are getting in on this opportunity is the fact that they have really sweet software they've built that go along with their game uh, called VoxEdit. So you can use VoxEdit to create all these assets, to animate them, and then you can then sell them in the shop, in the store. And here's a bunch of assets that have been created. And all these are, you know, are easy ways to be able to monetize. So if you don't want to create games, you can just create assets. If you don't want to create assets or create games, you can just buy land and speculate on it. You know, when you compare this to, to places like Decentraland or to CryptoVoxels that are very, um, you know, blockchain based versions of this, you know, san the Sandbox has legs outside of the blockchain with their already established the Sandbox Evolution 2D game. And I think that's what's going to give them the leg up on their competition and, and really put them to the forefront just, uh, you know, right, right there along with Decentraland or CryptoVoxels or some other uh, similar land based uh, blockchain games. Uh, do I think that they're going to surpass them? I think they definitely have the investment and the big you know, money that is going to help them. And the, the, the team behind this game is very experienced and they already have a very big uh, user base out there that they can pull from for this version when it launches. So, you know, I think these are the, some of the reasons why b uh, huge game dev devs are getting invested in the sandbox right now and why maybe you should consider looking at some of the, these cool things. If you love gaming, if you love making items and being a creator and then trying to find ways to monetize those things, if you love playing Roblox or Minecraft, this would be a great game for you to look at and to be able to want to possibly get in on that land sale coming March 31st. And uh, if you guys do want to get on that, uh, definitely use my link below. I really appreciate it. it supports the channel and I love you guys so much for doing that. Whenever you do use my links, it definitely helps me to continue to make all these sweet videos. So uh, I think that's all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments about Sandbox, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. And that's all we have for today. Till next time, stash that crypto, friends.